Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm gonna to be talking about a brand that at the moment can only be bought via their website in the US. And this is a brand that you may be familiar with because the person behind it is actually someone that we know really well. This is Jones Road Beauty. The founder of Jones Road Beauty is in fact Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown has been known for many, many years as a fantastic makeup artist. She has established herself as someone who is one of sort of the main key players within the industry. And she basically sold off Bobby Brown to Estee Lauder a number of years ago and so decided to create her own brand. And this is one that I've been quite curious about. I've seen a lot of it on various different social media platforms and I was just intrigued by all the kind of products that she was doing. I like the way that she's sort of approaching beauty. It's really interesting. It's not about covering up things, but really enhancing what you have. I just wanted to show you what I was able to pick up. It came in this lovely, box. It says cool clean makeup. There was a lovely postcard inside and I decided to pick up five items from there. So I wanted to show you what I got. So I decided to pick up the Jones Road What The Foundation and this one was the one that intrigued me the most and what got me interested in the brand. I heard about this and it was something that was really intriguing to me because it was a texture that was quite mousse-like and not something that I'd seen before in a foundation and I wanted to see how this would look. I managed to get colour match. I emailed the website and I asked someone at Jones Road Beauty what my colour would be after sending them a photograph because there isn't a lot of places that do sort of colour matching. They recommended the colour Honey. So I picked Honey up and I also picked up the Jones Road Miracle Balm in the colour Magic Hour. And I also picked up the spatula, which is for both products, as well as the face pencil, which is in number 16. And I picked up the lip and cheek. And this one is the stick and it's in tawny nude. What we're gonna do today is I'm just going to apply this, do a full face for you, give you my thoughts on what I think about each of the products, and then just give you a quick summary as to what I liked most, what I would recommend you purchase and what my thoughts are on the products. So I thought what we could do was take a look at the packaging. You get 25 grams of product. This is the What The Foundation. I think she calls it WTH as well. This is what it looks like when you take it out and you've got Jones Road written on the top. You open it up and then inside you've got like a plastic divider, but that's what the texture looks like. It's really moussey. I mean, if I go like that, you can see that it's not coming out at all. I don't know if you remember a product, I thought it was Maybelline, it was called Dream Mousse. This does have a slight fragrance, so if you don't like fragrance, you may not like this product. It can be off-putting for foundation, I think. This one certainly does have a slight sort of smell to it, so if you're not keen on that, you may not be keen on this. Let's see what it looks like as a swatch, and then we'll do the application. This is what it looks like close up. Can you see that sort of moussey like texture? So this is what it looks like. So that's the colour honey. I don't know if you can see, but there's it's quite sort of oily almost, the consistency. If I just do that, you can see how the colour sort of blends into my skin. Let's uh, try this on together now. This is how it looks and it's a really lovely finish. If you have dry skin like I do, this is a godsend because I always find with foundations sometimes it can be quite drying and then they emphasize pores and they show bits on your face you don't really want to highlight. But this has gone on like a cream. It's really whipped. It's it's like a whipped cream and I didn't need to use very much as you saw from my brush. I really like this finish. 
One of the things I forgot to mention is I picked up her spatula and this will also help with taking out product from the Miracle Balm, which I'm gonna show you as well, but also from the foundation. So if you didn't wanna dip your brush into the foundation, you could have used the spatula as well, but I just wanted to quickly show you how it looks on my skin. So we're now going to move on to the Miracle Balm. So this is what the packaging looks like for the Miracle Balm. It is 50 grams of product. The packaging is white, has Jones Road written on the top. And then this is what it looks like. And it's a really interesting formula. Kind of waxy almost, balmy wax, I'd say. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take her spatula and I'm just gonna go around the outside and just get a little bit of the balm. So literally I'm just scooping it around like that. And that's how much product I'm going to use for the moment. This is meant to give you like a really lovely glow. So let's see how this looks. So I have my mirror and we're just gonna dab it on to areas where I just want to put the balm on to give it some, some light. I can feel the texture already. It's really balmy. It has a really nice smell as well. Feels really sort of soothing on the skin. If you're like me and you have like psoriasis sometimes or your skin just feels really dry, this is a really lovely product. It feels like it's sort of nurturing the skin. It feels really nice. I don't know if you can see, but it's given me this gorgeous glow. It's like, you know how by Terry have that serum, the CC serum, where you mix it in with your moisturizer. This feels a little bit like that in the sense that it's creating a lovely glow to the foundation that I just put on. So in combination with each other, it works really well. So this is the foundation with the balm. So next I bought the face pencil and sometimes I just want some concealing, but also I want to just sort of make sure that areas that are imperfections are covered up basically. So I picked up shade 16, which I was matched because of the foundation I picked up. So I decided to go with this shade and I just wanted to show you how it looks. You get in this 2.9 grams of product. I haven't got anything on at the moment, but I'm just gonna show you how it looks. So this is what it looks like. It's like a really creamy pencil, and I'm just gonna put it on areas where I think I need a little bit of coverage. So I have a little bit of a spot coming up here, and then I have areas where I just wanna cover up just to make it even. We will have a look how this sort of blends out, but it's sort of like a spot corrector or a blemish corrector, as well as a concealer. So I'm gonna put some of it under my eyes as well, just to lighten it up. And then I always like to put a little bit around my nose and just pick out any bits that I feel like just needs a little bit of coverage. And you probably noticed that I've gone completely ballistic with it, but it will all make sense. As you can see, my face just looks like I've just gone a bit crazy with the concealer, but I'm just gonna literally get my brush and I'm just gonna tap, 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 and tap it into my skin so that the color is blending and I'm not moving the product around because if I kind of go too much, it will start to move everything around and not actually cover where I need it to cover. So I'm just going in and just tapping where I need the coverage. So under my eyes, I'm gonna use this brush properly, but just for the purposes of showing you how good the coverage is, I'm just tapping get the product to go. And I think just around my nose. I've just got some under my eyes now, so I'm literally gonna take the product under my eyes. And 
and I think that's done a really good job. I don't know if you can see from afar, but it's really covered quite a fair bit of what I needed covering and also provided a little bit of a concealer for me as well. So I just wanted to show you how I would use this pencil. Lovely. I think I've covered everything. So the final product that I got from Jones Road Beauty was the Lip and Cheek Stick. And this is in 9.0 grams. This is in the color Tawny Nude. At the time, some of the colors that I wanted weren't available. So I wanted to really go with the color that was most natural to me, which I would use most often. And this one is the one that kind of appealed to me. It comes in kind of like a metal container and you can lift it open and then you will twist the product and the product comes up like that. This is the color that I picked. So this is a lip and cheek combo. So if you're out and about and you just want one product, I love the fact that this is multi-use. Let's take a look. So what I would normally do is take my finger and just put it onto the product like so and literally smile and dab it onto my cheeks. I call this a no makeup makeup day look because you clearly have makeup on but it's not full on and it's a definite everyday look. And I love that kind of flush of colour that's not too in your face. And then what I'm going to do is literally take that product and because I'm the only one using this I am literally going to apply it directly on my lips. It's a really balmy texture and it's something that I think it's really complementary to a lot of skin tones. It's giving me sort of beautiful kind of chilled out vibes. I feel very chilled out wearing it. It makes me feel really minimalistic in a way that I think a lot of makeup is going towards now because people haven't really got time to be putting on loads of makeup every day. So I do love that about this product and I'm literally just dabbing I love the way that it's balmy on my lips as well as balmy on my cheeks and makes my skin look glowing. If you have dry skin, if you have mature skin, this is going to be perfect for you. If you have oily skin, I would probably veer to not use so much of the lip and cheek because this is quite balmy or use less of the product. The foundation would be fine. I don't think you need the Miracle Balm if your skin is quite oily because it is quite balmy and has a lot of moisture in it. So it may not appeal as much. Yeah, I love this look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I haven't put on any mascara or any brow because I wanted to show you these products as I would use them um, if I was at home and I just wanted a simple everyday look. I'm really impressed with this brand. I heard a lot about this brand, but also I've heard that they're also coming to the UK soon. So I'm gonna be trying out more from this brand, in particular the different colors they have, because I'm impressed with the lip and cheek stain. I love the foundation. I guess I wish the foundation didn't have a fragrance because I think sometimes it's a little bit off-putting when it's a foundation because it's the first thing that you put on your skin. The Miracle Balm is really lovely. I love the way that it gave my skin this gorgeous, magic hour. I can see why. It's because it gives you that lovely glow. I do recommend the balm as well if you want that kind of glow. The pencil was really interesting. I've not really used a pencil before to conceal. I tend to use more creamy products but the pencil itself is really creamy which I was really impressed about. Those are my sort of faves. I would say the lip and cheek is one to grab if you want something kind of emollient and beautiful on your skin that creates that kind of natural look. It gives me actually Victoria Beckham vibes a little bit because her makeup is like that I'd say. It's not too overpowering, it's really natural. The What the foundation is a 
foundation I've never seen in terms of texture before. If you were to compare it with Wayne Goss, I'd say Wayne Goss is a lot more sort of solid and this one is more whipped cream, more kind of balmy, but in a kind of creamy format. I found with this one, I didn't really need to put a lot on as you saw. So it is a really good foundation in that respect. And if you want an everyday foundation, I think you're gonna love it. Yeah, I think I've covered everything. If you have tried Jones Row Beauty before, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What is your favorite? What have you liked from the collection? And would you recommend anything to me that's worth picking up because I'm still quite new to the brand? Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.